about other people, but you don't think it's going to happen in your life. They knew something was wrong, they didn't know what it was. And uh, did a bunch of tests, but I was just not feeling right. Sometime towards the end of January, Dr. Mahandrew figured it out, and he said, you're going in, you know, we're bringing you right in for dialysis. And down in Bricktown Dialysis Center. And that's where it began. It was kidney failure. Once you start dialysis or you enter stage five kidney disease, when your kidneys are working at less than 15% of normal, dialysis is recommended. Dialysis is, it's a, it's a nightmare. Your life is on a standstill. It's almost like you're uh, a dog on a chain. There's people that are on dialysis. When they come out of that, you're spent. You have no energy. The fatigue hits you. And you realize, I've been doing this for a year, and I'm only 57 years old, you know? I should really, you know, look into other options. Kidney transplant is the best possible treatment for end-stage kidney disease. Not every patient will become a candidate for kidney transplant. We were reading up on transplant. Just getting on the kidney list was the most important thing. It was still a three to five year waiting list. And uh, that's when Dr. Mahendra came through. Uh, I refer all my patients to Dr. Uh, Lynn at uh, Hackathon University Medical Center for evaluation and possible transplant. Marty was a very good candidate for a number of reasons. Uh, one, he was actually on dialysis, and the second part is because he uh, had a living donor transplant from Jane. And my girl Jane was reading all the same literature I was and asking questions about being a potential donor. I told him that I wanted to do that, and he said, absolutely not. I don't want you to do this. I just looked at him and said, I'm, I don't care what you say, this is what I'm doing. She stepped up to, to the bed, so I was very thankful for that. Uh, very thankful now. When we went to Hackensack, that was when everything went quick from there. That's when they were first merging. The merger with uh, Hackensack and Meridian um, has really been a boon, not just for the health system in general, but for the transplant program specifically. So when Dr. Lim and Dr. Mahandrew were working together in the same deal for transplants, that what I'm looking for, so this will be a perfect team, you know? I mean, I, I can't say that I wasn't nervous, but I wasn't really concerned because I felt like we were in good hands. We start this operation first thing in the morning, patient rolls into the operating room, and I start my operation. The donor goes in first, and roughly about 30 to 45 minutes later, um, I go in with Morty. Each operation is approximately two to three hours from skin to skin. When we do the donor nephrectomy procedure, we make a few small keyhole incisions. We do the entire operation to free the kidney from the surrounding organs and tissues. And then at the end of the operation, we make that small three inch incision to remove the kidney. Simultaneously, as far as when the kidney comes out of the, of the donor and Jane, we have exposure in the recipient, Morty, so that as soon as the kidney comes out, we can literally put it in and they both did so well afterwards. Jane was out in a few days, Marty was out in four days. Dr. Lamb has given me nothing but great reports on everything that's happened so far. I mean, they're very happy with the results. The first few months we were going back, they couldn't believe it was only like one month or six weeks since the surgery. It's good stuff. Today, we're doing fine. I never felt better in my life, really. I would do it again. Our merger with Meridian, again, has really helped us get down literally to the backyard of these patients. It makes it easier for them and more convenient for them to see us after our Jersey Shore office. Now at least we could come to Jersey Shore or Ocean Medical or Riverview. Which is great because we live down this way, so that makes the visits easier. And this is how success is shown. The outcome is phenomenal. Most of the patients want to get transplant at Hackensack University Medical Center and eventually Jersey Shore University Medical Center. I think that's one of the things, again, we'll be able to do is to be able to uh, transplant, if you will, our experience and expertise down to Jersey Shore, and so that, again, they have the convenience of going to a center that they trust and is nearby, and we're able to um, add and give our experience and expertise for the transplant. I think Hackensack took very good care of us. I think everything they did was above and beyond. It really made us feel like uh, part of the family.